Happy New Year, or how about a Happy New Day cheer? Every morning you and I wake up, for there is not any guarantee we will be alive tomorrow. Just look at that heart attack scare DeMar Hamlin had this past week in the Buffalo Bills football game. Now sure, it's nice not to think of death and just get on with our daily lives, but if you or I really knew that it was our last day on this planet, wouldn't we really live it up? Well, that really depends on whether you or I are a Christian person or not. A true Christian may live this final day like any other day, joyfully following God's guidance and laws, knowing that a wonderful eternity awaits. While the agnostic person may, may partake in sinful, unlawful activities, because he or she believes there will be no eternal consequences. Which person's day do you believe is better for our world? If you want to make this world a better place, choose your day wisely, with God leading you. Welcome to episode number 112 of the ABCs from God, sharing the truth about being Christian. Today's show is entitled, Happy New Day. Last week we looked at how you can enjoy a life well lived. If Jesus Christ is God, how would he want us to live today? Let's look in the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 16. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. A happy new day is you and I praising and celebrating our lives given to us by our compassionate, loving Heavenly Father. When He opens our hearts to Him, we are like a reborn person. Now our Lord teaches us to live rightly each and every day. Listen to Paul in the second book of Corinthians. Chapter 5, verse 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Dear friend, it is the most wonderful day to come to Jesus Christ and accept him as your Lord and Savior. In your renewed state, you are given peace, the peace that he is in control, control of our climate, control of the government, control of our future. But we reborn Christians also partake in these future plans. So make this day and every day forwards be your happy new day and share his joy-filled message with the world. Let's pray. Oh, dear Father in heaven, thank you, Lord, for giving us this day. And thank you, Jesus, for making it possible that we may live this day for you now and eternally. Assist us, Holy Spirit, in sharing with our neighbors what you have given us, a free gift out of jail card. Lord, despite our hardships, despite our pains, and despite the mourning of lost loved ones, help rejuvenate us to make this moment onwards our happy new day, this day and every day until your triumphal return. Amen. Well, please join with me for next week's show entitled, The True Speaker of the House. Help support this channel by smacking the like and subscribe buttons and hit the bell to always get our latest episode. And please comment and share today's show. For those of you who are currently without a church group, go to my description to view a weekly sermon from the Richmond Alliance Church. If you, a confessed sinner like me, have just come to Jesus Christ or have been following him for a while, begin or keep up your daily habits of reading the Holy Bible. Be part of a Bible-based church and join with my friends and I in sharing God's truths, his ABCs, about being Christian. God bless.